Well, howdy. Welcome to Fish Tales. I've come back out here to Indian Spirit Springs Ranch and I've decided I want to fish the beaver pond which is kind of in the middle of nowhere, hard to get to. We've had some rain recently and uh, that makes it just a little more challenging. I can't take the shortcut. Got to go the long way around and that means cutting through the woods. I got this little Versa, Nissan Versa. This damn thing's a mountain goat, but it doesn't have much clearance. And I might get stuck, but I know who to call. Let me show you what it's like driving through the woods. I've already had to remove a bunch of limbs. Back in a few years ago in the drought, 2011, a lot of trees died and they're still coming down. Yeah, somebody's been driving through here. Hopefully I can make my way through here without too much trouble. There's one ditch up here I'm a little bit concerned of. I really need to get my truck. Or I do have a four-wheel drive Jeep. It's my wife's car, Jeep Patriot. Here's the little ditch right up here. So far so good. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. See there's another little lamb busted down there. No big deal. Here's the ditch right here. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see if it's soft. Ooh. Oh, we plow right through that. No problem whatsoever. And I think that's the only obstacle, really. There we go. Almost there. I have not fished this pond from a boat yet and you really need a boat to get at the parts of the or to be able to fish it the way you, you would need to to catch any fish so I'm very hopeful I think we have nearly a full moon tonight too full moon was two days ago so it'll come up late see there you go doesn't that look fishy we're just gonna go right downhill, right here. Go a little further. Be like me to get stuck in this field. All right. Well, here we are. Let me get my kayak loaded and get on that water and catch me some fish. That water. This is up about six inches, maybe more. Probably more like a foot higher than it was last time I was here. Nice and clear. I can really see through it with my polarized glasses. I bet you I catch some fish and ain't nobody been fishing this pond. This is hard to get to. In 2010, in the fall of 2010, I moved 200 adult bass into this lake. For some reason, it didn't have any fish in it at all. It had a bunch of bait fish, but that was about it. Let me go look at the other pond. The upper end of the other pond is right here. All I did is I just caught fish out of it. I'd paddle up into the upper end of this lake, the big lake, and then come up a trail and just dump them right into this one. I did that 200 fish, mostly bass, uh, and a few crappie, and apparently the crappie are in here too. This is, like I said, this lake is hard to fish from the shore. Matter of fact, it might as well be impossible. But the big lake is just right down here. <laughs> Even the trails are gone. That used to be a trail. Oh, look at the flowers. Those are summertime flowers right there. Beautiful. Let me 
you see that boy doesn't that look good that's just big enough for one person I can fish that and you can see through the water Ooh, that's gonna be good fishing here's the other lake right here this is the <laughs> the big lake I'll go down here nobody's been coming up here in a while you can see through the trees here oh my gosh I got all kinds of stuff in my way there you go, there you, go. <laughs> you can see the upper lake there that's as much as I can see of it see I would just catch fish out of that lake and paddle all the way up in the upper end as far as I could Come up this trail and dropped them into here. Had a wire basket that I kept using. Did it for I did that from about October through January, February, and then the drought started. All these ponds went way down in in 2011. Uh, this one this one held a lot of water. It didn't go down like the rest of them and it didn't roll So those fish that I had put in there probably spawned that spring in 2011 and have spawned ever since then So there's a lot of fish in here now a lot of very good bass I'm hoping to see a few of them today All right, well, let's get busy Let's get that kayak in the water this is exciting. Oh, see there's something moving water right there. They're hanging in on the bank real tight. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right, hang on. Let me cut this thing off and I'll get my boat in the water and get started. Just launched from right there. Easy launch. Didn't even get my feet wet. I'm gonna let the wind blow me through here first and just easily fish the edge. This ought to be something else. Well, I sure see a lot of surface activity. Stuff's moving. May not do real well to start out because it's still it's still it's still bright the sun's too high in the sky but once it goes down buddy once it gets down below those trees it should be on we'll see what happens it's gonna be fun going into the swampy area there's probably not much back here this is a little too weed choke but that's fine as part of the pond this becomes the rookery this becomes where all the little fish grow they can get fairly well protected in here there is some clear spots where it's not completely covered in weeds i switched to a spinnerbait for the moment i'm gonna fish uh with a spinnerbait until get a little closer to dark Plus, because I've never fished this. See, that's a nice open spot there. Might be a bass or two hanging out. I can guarantee you that is Snake City. Supposedly, there's some beavers in here again. I don't see any evidence of them yet. Uh, we're going to park it right here, and I'm going to throw a few. Oh, look at that. There's something moving. That's good. Let me see if it's a fish. There was my first good strike. You can see the rings. That was a good bass too. I think I'm going to shift back to the fly and put a fly back there. It'd be a lot funner with a fly rod. Alright. Tied myself off so the fish doesn't pull me right into the sweet spot. I got my fly rigged. See what I've got to contend with here. I got a narrow 
narrow gap between these china berry trees drop it right at the edge of that log but I'm I'm sure there's more than one fish in here hopefully it's a big one here we go Stop on it. Oh, you can get it. Ooh, that is right in the sweet spot. Goop around with this camera and miss my strike. Put it just a little further back there. Whoa. That is right where that fish just laid it. Went after that spinner bait. Doesn't take long to paddle Kerr across this pond. <laughs> I'm gonna paddle up and let it blow me back one more time. I'm gonna throw a spinner bait. See if I can't catch anything, then we should be about the special time for the fly rod. Number two. Ooh, look at that one. A little bigger. <laughs> I'm gonna catch a couple more with this better bait before I change back to the fly. Got me a good fish now. <laughs> at it. froggy fly we're getting real close to that magical time these little fish are fun but the big ones are a blast oh lord I got a big one caught him out of the middle oh this is a big fish watch him come up watch him this is a big one this is a six pounder probably. Oh, look at that one. Oh, stay down, big girl. <laughs> there you go. That's a nice fish. Ah. Well, how you like that one? <laughs> that been fun on a fly rod, but I'll take it on a spinner bait or any way I can get it. That big fish. That fish is a good solid five pounder. Woo, that's a good one. Get this fish back in the water. Man, that's a heavy fish. Nice one. Look at that big girl. Boy, that's a big fish. Ooh, there she goes. <laughs> Don't you know that is fun? Hey, there's a deer. Little deer running across the field over there. Look at her. See her going? 
big big bass and a little deer that's cool I doubt if she's alone she's probably the second one that came through there I didn't pay attention well that was interesting caught that fish in the middle not out from the edge that fish came up from underneath it deep water so I guess I'll try that tactic again Magic time has arrived. I'm going to hit him with a plain, simple froggy fly. This is a big one. Of course, I'm after big bass. Big bass like big, slow moving dinner. And that ought to work. Good fun. Now it's time to go home. Probably need to have them mow this if they've got time. Just this little spot right here. It is kind of tall. You know what they say. Snake in the grass. And get out of this boat, of course. It gets harder every year I get a little older. Best after sitting in it for a while, leaning back like this, it's not easy to get out. Didn't use too many flies, didn't do too good on the fly. It's okay, but the two bigger bass were caught on a spinner bait. Pretty typical, I guess. Well, that's a heck of a pond, though. Heck of a nice little lake. fish out in the middle. Came up out of the deep water. Nailed it. Well, thanks for watching. That'll be good. Bye.